This show is brought to you by the Chiropractic Broadcast Network. Check us out on the web at chiropracticbroadcastnetwork.com. And hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Tuning Into Health. This is episode 167, Thursday, February 9th, your morning edition. And this is take two, not that anybody's counting anyway. I tell you what though, I've had all sorts of technical difficulties. We were supposed to have an interview today, which I'm going to post part of it, but there's an echo. And it's, it, the echo's there because I didn't click one little button. Come on. Anyway, Dr. Tom Podisk is going to be our interview. He's an author of the book called Whole Health Healing. So we'll get to that in a bit. Hey, study finds that MDs are not always honest with their patients. Imagine that, huh? Stomach acid drugs increase the risk of bacterial infections. The FDA warns yesterday. Oops. Low vitamin D uptake. Well, actually, it ups the risk of fractures in the young and old drug firm to pay one billion dollars in respiratory scandal the only thing is they made five billion in profit hey good return <laughs> record number of whooping case cough uh, cough cases and vaccinations are recommended however i think they're waning and just kind of like antibiotics do like gonorrhea is resistant to antibiotics on the rise so, Fufta, what do you do about that? And believe it or not, there's L.A. County okays a $1,000 fine for throwing a Frisbee or a football on a beach. What? What? Oh, come on. I tell you what. Yeah, we got Dr. Tom Podisk, and he's an author, and we're going to be back to you right after this. Monday through Thursday, and uh, glad to have you with us. We are uh, here at the Spinal Tuning Studios right here in Des Moines, Iowa. And, uh, we're, yeah, we're going to have a little fun today. Uh, but to start out with, we've got, well, this doesn't really have to do with health, but it really has to do with the government intrusion into our, our lives. And I guess if you stress out about that, it can affect your health. But uh, L.A. County okays a $1,000 fine for throwing a football or a Frisbee on beaches. When you head down to the beach for a little fun in summer this morning, or this, uh, this summer, county, of, county officials want you to leave the pigskin at home. Board supervisors this week agreed to raise the fine. Raise the fine? That means you already had one in place. Up to $1,000 for anyone who throws a football or a Frisbee on a beach in Los Angeles County. Passing the 37-page order. You know what? California, you get what you deserve, and you're going to hell in a handbasket. Everybody's going to leave your state, and it's probably a good reason they do. Oh, my gosh. Now, the updated rules will prohibit any person to cast, toss, or throw, kick, or roll any object other than a beach ball or volleyball because they're so much safer, you know. Between Memorial Day and Labor Day. Wow. Leave California, folks. No reason to be there. Gosh. Okay. So we've got this record number of whooping cough cases and uh, happening. And it's because the vaccine is ineffective. And, and what happens is the people, uh, the health authorities, are trying to blame the unvaccinated. But it's not the unvaccinated. The, the whooping cough is ineffective. Uh, much like, uh, well, 
antibiotics are ineffective to a lot of bacterial infections. These, the, <laughs> life always wins. And when you try to control life, it controls you in the long run. So, um, yeah. So after record setting number of whooping cough cases, Washington health officials are advising pregnant women to be and people who are around infants to get vaccinated for the highly contagious disease. In 2011, there are 912 cases of the disease in Washington state, the highest number in six years. Health state officials recommend that women who plan to become pregnant should get vaccinated again for the disease because the vaccine usually wears off in Five years, actually, it's three years. And uh, as for a couple months ago, they thought it was permanent immunity. Oops, that means <laughs> that means any child over the age of seven was not protected. And we didn't have mass epidemics, did we? No, no. And the adult population is now <laughs> scant when it comes to uh, uh, vaccine. Uh, um, adherence. So, but anyway, uh, this kind of ties into it. It's gonorrhea, gonorrhea is resistant to antibiotics, and that's on the rise as well, as well as many other uh, antibiotic resistant bacteria. Uh, wondering what could be the newest potential superbug? Gonorrhea. Yay! The new editorial published in the New England Journal of Medicine highlighted the concern that the raising rights, rates of antibiotic resistant gonorrhea in the U.S. The increases were most prominent in people living in the western United States and men who have sex with men. Uh, There is much to do in the uh, threat of untreatable gonorrhea and its emerging rapidly. Rapidly. You're kind of saying, well, gosh, how can it be antibiotic resistant? Because you know what? Not everybody's treated for gonorrhea. And I would say wrong, wrong. The silver nitrate drops that they place in every baby's eyes when they are born because they suspect that the mother would have gonorrhea. Yeah, that is overuse of antibiotics, folks. And what do you get? You get a superbug. Oh, shocker. Shocker, shocker, shocker. Anyway, hey, guess what? A drug firm pays up to $1 billion for the respiratory scandal. Nearly a decade of civil investigation into fraudulent marketing of Johnson & Johnson's. Gosh, they are just getting hammered this last year. The antipsychotic drug Risperdal Respir- Respir- may soon be coming to a close with the drug giant agreeing to pay more than $1 billion to the United States and the individual states to resolve the matter. Negotiations over cl- criminal plea are still ongoing. They're too big to fail, folks. They're too big to fail. Merck, Johnson & Johnson... GlaxoSmith or GlaxoSmithKline or whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. Don't really care. Um, but they're too big to fail. If they get <laughs> locked up behind bars, then they're just going to threaten. Okay, we'll just stop making the drugs. Yeah, then the politicians go freak out. Many of them are on the antidepressants that they're <laughs> legislating for or against. Uh, but. Oh, goodness. But this may mean that J&J may be liable for far more money, considering the state of Texas alone is asking for more than $1 billion over the marketing scheme. Uh, in most cases, a billion dollar or more fraud settlement would be death sentence for the business. Uh, but for the drug industry, it's just another cost of doing business. Like I said, if they pay a billion and make $5 billion off of it, it's a great return on investment. Low vitamin D ups hip fractures in the young and old. Actually, just fractures in general. Huh. Vitamin D is key to having healthy bones, yet many Americans don't get as much as they need because they've been taught that the sun is evil. Sunscreen, sunscreen. Oh, the sun is evil. The consequences basically are broken bones, even though among the young and healthy, according to two new studies presented yesterday at a meeting at the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. In one study, researchers from South Korea studied 104 postmenopausal women with wrist fractures and found that 44% of the women had insufficient or deficient vitamin D levels. Only 13% of 107 women soft tissue injuries were found to have low vitamin D levels. Vitamin D deficiency can be devastating among the younger women and men also, according to another study presented at this meeting. So basically, 
Uh, Researchers at the University of Missouri studied the medical records of nearly 900 adults, some age as 18 years of, or old, old um, were admitted to the trauma center ortho, after orthopedic injuries. Researchers found that 77% of them have insufficient or deficient levels of vitamin D. Nearly 40% were vitamin D deficient. Interesting. Stomach acid drugs increase the risk of bacterial infections. Yeah, the FDA sent out a big, big public notice yesterday. And, you know, this the FDA, that, that organization that's supposed to protect us against uh, harmful effects of drugs and food and, yeah, uh, basically before it gets to market, well, basically they're, you know, sending out a, Post 911 thing. The, uh, uh, the Food and Drug Administration is warning consumers today that certain drug uh, acid, stomach acid drugs, may increase the risk of serious intestinal bacterial and infection. The drugs, including, get this, the popular ones Nexium, Pro, Prilosec, Prevacid, Zigerdig, <laughs> and others, fall in the category of proton pump inhibitors. They're prescribed to treat acid reflux, stomach ulcers, and other conditions and work by reducing the amount of acid in the stomach. Yep. The, well, the, uh, the stomach's supposed to hold the acid. There's something else going on there, folks. The bacterial illness is called Clostridium difficile, associated with diarrhea, and the main symptom uh, is diarrhea that does not improve. According to the FDA statement, the bacteria are commonly known as C. difficile. Stomach acid is very important and dense mechanism against pathogens, defense mechanism against pathogens. It kills them. Yep, who authored this uh, and the study published in the October linking C. difficile infections to stomach acid drugs in the interview with My Health News Daily at the time. Huh, interesting. Interesting. Hey, do you know that doctors admit to lying to patients? What is this? Why would a doctor admit to lying to a patient? Oh, this is interesting. Well, here we go. I'll show you. Is your doctor honest with you? You may be surprised at the answer. A team led by researchers from Harvard Medical School polled nearly 1,900 practicing physicians. They found that 10% of those questioned don't exactly agree with disclosing all the risks and benefits like of vaccination. Treatment. A third of those asked don't agree with always telling their patients about medical errors. Oops. And nearly 20% of those asked say it's okay sometimes for doctors to lie to their patients. These behaviors go against the principles in the 2002 Charter on Medical Professionals, which requires openness and honesty in communicating with patients. Wow. Wow. The only thing that I would lie to a patient about is, yeah, bone doesn't need to be moved. Osteobioflex is a great a product. Second. Gosh, darn ads. I'll tell you that much. But, uh, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So, and, and that plays right into the whole vaccination thing. The fact that they aren't willing to sit down and talk to the patients and their parents about the risks of vaccination stuff is, hey, people call me crazy. <laughs> Look it, they're lying to you. A lot, of two, a lot of them are lying to you. A lot of them probably don't even know they're lying to you because they never even thought of that as lying. It's just, you don't want to give them too much information. Interesting. Hmm. Hey, we got Dr. Tom Podisk. And he is a chiropractor from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, who, um, oh, basically, I'll just read his bio here. Dr. Tom Potus, a.k.a. the down-to-earth doctor, has been a holistic family doctor for 25 years. He is the author, speaker, blogger on holistic living. Yes, he certainly is that. I'll tell you that much. Um, and uh, we got his website right here. Um, he's called the down-to-earth doctor because of his family-oriented country lifestyle and his simplistic, practical, and easy way to implement health advice. He's the author of a new book called Whole Health Healing, the budget-friendly natural wellness Bible for all ages. The book and several free holistic health tips are available at his website. So uh, wholehealthhealing.com. I would suggest that you go there 
And uh, yeah, if you buy the you can buy the book on Amazon, um, Borders or, or uh, Barnes and Noble or whatnot. But if you order it from his website at wholehealthhealing.com, um, uh, I tell you what, he, he gives you some little extras that he can't give through the other ones. His extensive world travels travels to remote places, sometimes on volunteer medical missions. Add to his unique perspective and philosophy, his goal with his book and presentation is to improve people's lives and save them money by empowering them to make wiser and healthier decisions. So uh, Dr. Tom Potisk, he's got a little blog that he uh, applies here as well. So talks about adjusting kids as well and the Super Bowl. Uh, oh, Aaron Rodgers, father is a chiropractor. So he has nice little stories about that type of stuff. I think it's a great... Uh, uh, blog to go visit and uh, and whatnot. So um, I tell you what, I did an interview with him yesterday, and it's a recorded interview, and I have to apologize for, to Dr. Potus because the interview, uh, I had to, well, basically, I had to restart my computer, and there's one little button that if I don't press it, it automatically turns on, and then it gives me an echo during the interview. I know. I apologize to Dr. Potus. We're not going to play the entire uh, interview here, um, but uh, it, you can hear his voice echoing, um, which that might be a little uh, frustrating, but I tell you what, the, this, his story is compelling, uh, and yeah, I think you'll be able to listen to it. This, his voice has a little bit of echo, Again, I apologize to Dr. Potus for, for doing that, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post this uh, separately on uh, the, the entire interview on Facebook. But he's got a story. He had a, uh, a life-altering event uh, that well, led him to, to write this book. And, uh, and um, yeah, so um, well, without further ado, I'll just kind of introduce Dr. Tom Potus. And hello, everybody. As I uh, promised, we have Dr. Tom Pochisk uh, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, on Skype with us today. And he's going to be talking about a book that he has written. Uh, it's called Whole Health Healing, the Budget-Friendly Natural Wellness Bible for All Ages. Now, that's a mouthful, I'll tell you that much. Uh, but we have Dr. Pochisk right here uh, via Skype right from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, right on with. Welcome, Dr. Pochisk. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. fine. Thank, Thank you very much. much. I'm, I'm very happy to be here, here. and uh, I love what, what you're doing, doing Dr. Chad. Dr. Chad. So uh, I'm, I'm uh, glad, uh, glad to be a part of it. it. Keep it up. Well, thank you very much. It's it's a uh, it's it's in progress. So uh, it's it's all about experience, right? Oh yeah. So oh yeah. The more, yeah the, more, get better. the more interviews that you do, the get better that you get, and all that type of stuff. So yeah, you've yeah. written this book. What what um, what started it all? Why why did you feel that you had to write a book? Because I know many people want to write books, but they never get the, the gumption to actually do it. There, there's, there's, there's an interesting, interesting story behind, behind the whole thing, thing. and I think, I think, I think that, that story is, is as interesting as, as what's, what's in the book itself. You know, here it is, Whole Health Healing, mm -hmm. it's a budget-friendly budget natural wellness Bible, Bible for all ages. And, um, and um, a, lot a lot of people are surprised that I wrote a book. You know, people that have known me from young on never thought I'd be an author. I never thought I'd be an author. I got lousy grades in English and in composition. I think I barely got through those classes. I never even learned learn how, how to type. type. I type, I type with, one with one or two fingers. fingers. You, know, you know, I'm pecking, pecking, at, pecking at the keyboard. keyboard. Wow. And, and uh, um, um, I, was I was a very successful, successful chiropractor for 25, 25 years in South Milwaukee, Milwaukee Wisconsin, Wisconsin right? after, after, after I graduated from Palmer, Palmer College. College. And, uh, and uh, I was perfectly content, content. Chad. Chad. I had a great career, wonderful, wonderful patients. Uh, people, brought uh, people brought their families in. in. I treated all ages from infants, from infants right, right up to, uh, to uh, I, think I think my oldest, oldest patient was 103. Was 103. Yep. The, the, money the money was good. The hours, hours were, good. were good. I had incredible staff that stayed, stayed with me for years. Mm -hmm. I had, I had uh, several other chiropractors working for me. So I didn't have a complaint in the world. But, but as, as I was, I was treating, treating these patients, patients and watching all these incredible improvements in people with what, with I, was what doing, I was doing, which was mainly chiropractic and some nutrition and some lifestyle changes, I kept, I kept saying, saying to myself, boy, boy if, more if more people only knew, knew about this stuff, stuff. And, then and then I'd say, why doesn't somebody, somebody tell, tell the public, public about this stuff? stuff? And, and through achieving events, I came to realize, you know, I am 
the person, the person who's supposed to do that, that, that or at least one of the people, people just like you are. So right? uh, I've, uh, I've joined the club now, now and I'm teaching uh, uh, the public uh, uh, pretty much, pretty much all, all my experiences and my training. I'm just sharing it uh, in, any in any way that I can, just like you are. And the main way I'm doing it is with my books. I'm also a speaker. I teach, I teach uh, wellness, wellness in, uh, in uh, industry, industry and for corporations. I teach at uh, civic, civic organizations and churches. churches. Uh-huh. And, I just, and I just keep uh, sharing, sharing my, my knowledge, my knowledge as, as best I can. You know, that, that, that series of events that led me to be an author and a speaker, and, a speaker and basically a, and a, full-time a full-time advocate now for holistic health. health. It culminated one day about three, about three years ago. ago when I, when had, I had come, come home from work, work and, and I picked up the kids from school, this was in January, it was a very, very cold, cold day, about 20 below zero, zero. and, and uh, I, live I live on this beautiful little, little farm, it's another one of my blessings, it's always, it's always been, been my dream to live on a little farm, so, yeah. so, here, so I here I am. And, and, and we, have we have a little pond. pond. We have a little pond, pond Chad. Chad. And, we and we get a lot of use out of that pond. We swim in it in the summer and we fish in it. And in the winter when it freezes, we ice skate on it and we also snowmobile on it. And that, and that day, day, there was just, was just enough snow, snow on that ice, ice to go snowmobiling. Snow 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 there wasn't there enough snow on the ground. On the ground. So, so I took, I took that, that snowmobile uh, with, my uh, with my daughter on the back. She was uh, eight, years eight years old at the time. At the time. And, we and we went around, around that pond, pond having, having a good old time. time. And about the third time around, Chad, I felt the back of that snowmobile just drop. And I suddenly discovered, you know, knew what was happening. So I gunned the engine. But, but it was too late. Too late. All, All that was happening by then, by then was water was splashing, and before I knew it, it only took about three seconds, three seconds maximum. maximum. That snowmobile was, was at the bottom of that 12 foot of water at that point in the pond. Uh, and you had your eight year old daughter. And my, and daughter, my daughter and I were down. down. Eight year old daughter, yeah. And there we were floating up to our necks in that ice cold water. It was about 20 below zero that day. So, so uh, excuse, excuse me if I get choked up, it's so traumatic. traumatic. I, grabbed I grabbed her by the seat of pants and I boosted her, her up onto some solid ice. ice. And, I and I screamed to her, I said, go back, back home and tell mom to call 911. We were about a block away from home. And she, and she screamed back that she couldn't stand up. Her clothes were soaked and frozen. She had to crawl across the ice and I just knew I was in trouble. We had all the heavy clothes on Chad. We had heavy boots on, snowmobile helmets, heavy gloves, all of that. So I knew, so I, knew I only had a few seconds, seconds so, I so I started clawing at that ice. ice. My, my fingernails were bleeding, bleeding. And, and I just got, I just my, got my elbows, elbows up. up and... Okay. That, the, if that doesn't can tell you to listen a little bit more uh, to that interview, I'll have it, uh, uh, I'll have it linked to, the, to this video as well. Uh, but again, I apologize. It, it was just a little oversight. I didn't click one button. And um, usually it is clicked. I can do interviews pretty well without the interview, uh, without the echo. But uh, they didn't software update, so now it's automatically clicked all the time, which drives me nuts. Anyway, uh, again, I uh, apologize to Dr. Tom Potisk, but I'll get that interview up. And you can listen to it. It's a compelling story, and I think he's got a great book out there. So uh, if you could go visit um, uh, wholehealthhealing.com, you can get that book, um, and I think it would be great in your waiting room if you're a chiropractor. But if not, well, I think it would be great to, to read anyway. Anyway, we've got, well, well, we'll just kind of come to the end of this show today. So um, I am going to, uh, well, bring it out with this. So I will see you next Monday. Monday, I don't know what date that will be. Was it uh 13th? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, hey, I'm a new dad of a teenage daughter. Yay. And I get to have seven girls over the house Friday night for a sleepover. Oh, my goodness. Pray for me, folks. Anyway, we'll have more news and comment for you on Monday, and we'll see you then. Have a great one, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs>